What I mean here, this is Greg and Nate of the Daily Intermission. Guys, how are you feeling over there? Feeling good today. What a feeling dangerous what a segue from Danny. We appreciate that. <laughs> you feeling like a home run to me? You two are home runs. Why not? All right, let's talk about the <laughs> Open, shall we? Going on in Scotland. Looking at the current odds, Nate, who are you taking to hoist the Claret Jug? I'm looking no further than the Australian legend Cameron Smith. This guy has the best mullet on tour. He's also the best putter on tour. He averages 1.6 putts per hole, which is kind of remarkable if you think about it. He's been hot this year. He won the Century Open. He won the Players' Championship. He tied third in the Masters, and I think he picks up his first major this year. I'm on Cam Smith. Plus 300, I think it's coming in at. Yes, sir. Cammy Smith, let's rock. Cam, Cam. Hey, that's You're talking about this, this Cam How Smith, right? Right. It? I'm feeling good. Thank you for having confidence in me, Nate. We might need a quick switch. We didn't realize Cam was hosting the show. <laughs> hey, man, I, I'm a versatile guy, man. Just make sure Cam Smith out there when you win that we can split the winnings on that. All right, oh, yeah, cool. no Perfect. kidding. You right, want to yeah. get extra rich. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Greg, who's your pick to win the Open? Yeah, listen, Danny, it's a special one this week at St. Andrews, the 150th Open. We look at the long list of guys that have won there. Sam Snead, ever heard of him? Jack Nicklaus, ever heard of him? Tiger Woods. Ever heard of him? These are some of the most famous golfers of all time. A golfer that I think fits that mold. He's on an eight-year drought. Rory McIlroy. Give me Rory McIlroy. I think he's plus 400 uh, live bet right now to win the Open. I mean, he, he's notorious for getting off the slow starts at these major championships. Minus 666 uh, in the first round. I love Rory plus 400 live. We get some good. Got some contradictive bets from the Daily Intermission boys to start things off, but yeah, we'll move on. Yeah, great stuff. Great All right, stuff. let's All right, talk let's some, talk baseball. some baseball. Now, the Rays have won four straight, and they welcome uh, Tampa. They welcome to Tampa an Orioles bunch that have won 10 in a row. Absolutely unbelievable there for Baltimore. Will we see their streak in tonight, Nate? You, you know, I, I don't look much further than the fact that it is the Baltimore Orioles. And it, win 10 in a row or not, I still think this team is absolute dog water. We got the AL East battle. They're back in Florida. Baltimore had a day off yesterday, and I think that's all it's going to take for Tampa Bay to beat them down. Minus 125. I'm all over Tampa. Streak's over tonight. Streaks over Streaks tonight. Over tonight. Wow. 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 All right. Well, we touched on the Jays' epic loss uh, from a betting perspective. Since they're heavy favorites again, uh, why don't you give us a prop bet that you like from this one? Yeah, absolutely, Danny. We got Alec Manoa. He's been one of the, the bigger bright spots in the rotation for the Jays this year. He's nine and four on the year. He's fanned over five and a half batters four of his last six starts. I mean, we're playing against a Kansas City team that's without 10 players who couldn't enter the, uh, the country of Canada. I like Manoa over five and a half strikeouts, minus 155. My shoulders aren't going to get involved here. It's not the juice we, we typically like, but 155, give it to me. Great stuff. All right, Nate. You and I are on the same wavelength today, so why don't you tell everyone why you're rising up for your HR prop here? Well, I, I, we got to get the shoulders involved now after two minus bets here, so we're going with it. I'm going Aaron Judge. Listen, this guy leads the league in home runs. He's only got two in his last 12, and I just think he's plain and simple do. You got a home game against Boston, the biggest rivals to the Yankees. I think he smacks one tonight. I'm all over Aaron, plus 200. Let's go. Guys, we don't like to pig pigeonhole you around here. You can talk golf, you can talk baseball. Well, let's move to the octagon, shall we? Greg, UFC fight night, Ortega versus Rodriguez is tomorrow. Can you give us a play to make some cash in this one, please? Yeah, absolutely, Danny. This is a big one here. We got the two and three ranked featherweight fighters in T-City Ortega and Yair Rodriguez. I mean, we're talking about fractions of a second Ortega was from from choking out Alexander Volkanovsky for the featherweight belt. I like Ortega to come out here. This is going to be what they call in the fighting world an absolute bloodbath of a fight. But I like Ryan Ortega to submit Yair Rodriguez plus 200. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an exciting one, especially for a UFC fight night, not on a pay per view. So the two and three ranked featherweights, give me Ortega by submission. Who would win between the fight between the two of you? Good question. We might have to uh, get a little daily intermission. It didn't look like he had any question. I, I think he's pretty. I, I'd probably be in the plus odds. I, I reckon, Dan. <laughs> I, you know what? Self awareness is a, is a crucial <laughs> crucial thing in life. So I appreciate that, guys. And we appreciate having you on here on Live on the Line. Hope to talk to you next week. Take care, Danny. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's get uh, Cam.